One, two, three. <laughs> this new EOC will provide Sarasota County with a safe, hurricane-hardened, state-of-the-art facility that will allow us to manage any emergency or disaster, to support our first responders while they respond to our residents in the community. But this project would not have been possible without the hard work of many people and without the support and approval of our Board of County Commissioners. I've been on the commission seven years, and I know when I first came on, there was talk of a new jail, public safety center, EOC. So it's probably been five, six years in the making, but the past couple of years it really stepped up. And with the design team, with Bob and Ed and the commission, uh, we moved it forward. Great piece of land here, and uh, I'm really looking, for, although I'll be off the commission when the ribbon cutting happens, I'll be back for it, because it's going to be a great facility. Once this new two-story facility is complete, it will provide a permanent, centralized location for emergency operations, ensuring the continuation of government services during a disaster. The new facility will ensure our community's lifeline is operational even during disasters because it will have an integrated power generation and a connectivity backup system. This location is, is ideal. This makes it so that with the growth of, of South Sarasota County so that um, we can access I-75 and head south into Northport, Inglewood, Venice much more rapidly now than where we're situated at right now. And it also makes for the employees who work here who live in Northport and Venice and Inglewood. Um, it makes it more accessible for them to come in and perform their job duties right off the interstate system. And it allows for the citizens who want to come and see the center to have access to it here right off the interstate system, not have to drive through traffic into the city of Sarasota. It's a privilege, uh, especially with my background, to stand before you today and represent the employees and the many uh, people that are involved in bringing this project uh, to the uh, groundbreaking today. I will tell you, I like groundbreakings, but I even more like ribbon cuttings. This is an exciting day. You always, when you're working behind the scenes on a project, working through initial design and budget, and finally getting to a point where you're ready to break ground, that's you know just such a critical milestone in a project. And this is such an important, critical project for the county because we really don't have right now that secure facility to help manage through severe events, major events like you know significant hur hurricane events of like a category four or five. This now will provide that for us. What this facility is going to allow us to do is really spin up operations during a major event, be it a hurricane, a tornado, you know, anything along those lines. This building will allow our emergency uh, individuals to you know, survive. We have a high level of confidence now today that what we're building will be uh, state-of-the-art and it will basically allow us to move into the future with a much more secure environment than what we have today.